Hey y'all, it's me, it's T, the Mindset Midwife, here with you on this super soulful Sunday. Yes, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a day to celebrate, a day to smile, a day to give thanks, and you know I got your Sunday sip. Drink it in, drink every bit in. I want to say something to you that hit me over this past weekend. There have been some people in my life who have been faithful. Number one, my God has been faithful and true to me. And I'm also grateful for my husband who has been faithful, my mom, my sister, my family members. I have an amazing support system who has truly been faithful to me, who have come through in the clutch, who have held me down. And I want to ask you, have you been faithful? Have you been true to who you are? Have you been true to going after your dream, your purpose, your calling? Have you been faithful? Have you invested the time and the talent and even the treasure, those monetary investments in going to the place that you saw yourself going however long ago? Have you taken the moments to sit down and say, okay, you know what? This hasn't gone exactly how I planned, but I believe it. I saw it. I felt it. I heard it. And I'm going to go after it. I'm going to be faithful. I'm not going to get so busy with what's going on in the world. I'm not going to get so wrapped up in gossip and what's going on. I'm not going to get so wrapped up in what's happening in the media and social media that I forget or that I become neglectful or unfaithful to that thing that was once burning inside me. Okay? It could be a charitable organization. It could be something with your local church. It could be your very own business book or brand. I motivate women and entrepreneurs to birth their business book or brand. I ensure they are no longer stuck in life, but thriving in success that's aligned with their passion and purpose. As our year comes to a close, I want you to really key in and think about what is your passion? What is your purpose? Have you been faithful to it? Have you made the investments in it to make sure that it springs forth, to make sure that it doesn't grow old, tired, that it stays new, fresh, and that you go after it? It's something, something to think about. We ask the people in our lives to be faithful to us. We try to be faithful to them in return. And yet there are some things that we overlook. There are some very important key things that we neglect. Whether we get tied up with our traditional jobs, whether we get tied up with family, kids, our mates, trust me, I understand. But we can never get so busy that we become unfaithful to our calling, our heart work, our soul work. Think about it on today. We have a few days left in the year, just a couple days left in this month, and then y'all, it's go time. We're gonna get busy wrapping up work things. We're going to be thinking about the holidays and the celebrations and everything. Don't get so caught up in the rigmarole, the hustle and bustle that you don't take the moments, that mental energy, that physical energy to go after those things that are going to be effective, impactful, and that are going to make a mark in your life and in the world. Listen, I'm rooting for you. It's going to be an amazing week. We're coming off of a holiday. We ate way too much. We probably didn't work out. If your name is T, you definitely didn't. But we're still going to crush it this week. It's going to be amazing. Know that somebody is rooting for you and somebody has your back. That somebody is me. Until next time, holla!